So we did a ride um, a review a few months ago. If you look on our channel, you'll see the review for ride. Today is ride two, the sequel. So we are going to start straight away. So uh, as you can see, we're on the menu here and we have got the world tour events, quick modes, my bikes, my rider, my team, challenges, online, options, and downloadable contents. So let's start with, first of all, um, my bikes. You can get downloadable bikes. So they click on the garage. Uh, you can purchase the bike if you've got enough money. At the moment, you see that uh, in the top right-hand corner, you have credits of 24,006 and zero tokens. So um, you'll see that the price for this particular bike is 8,980 credits. So we could purchase that one, uh, or we could purchase that one. Oh, no, we couldn't. Yes, we could. Yes, 17,000. And we could also purchase that one. So uh, you can also customize the bikes. So if I click on that one, which I think I've already purchased, you can then go in and actually change the transmission, the engine, uh, and all sorts of things like the brakes, the appearance even, and the wheels. So if I click on appearance, for example, uh, you can say, let's change the livery. So, okay. Um, did I do the livery end? No, I didn't do anything, did I? No. Um, let's try it again. Let's go in again. Oh, no. I've gone all wrong there. But what did I say I was going to do? The livery. Power in bush. The star should never be sacrificed. Okay. So we click on the livery. And uh, see, we can change the livery at the bottom there. So we've got the yellow, the, the yellow um, cover there. But it says Yamaha. Uh, you can do that. Or you can actually go in and change your uh, mirrors. Click on mirrors. And if you move the, the uh, I'm using an Xbox One, sorry, not Xbox, but Xbox 360 gamepad. So I'm using my right stick to turn around to have a look at the bike. So um, we can change the mirrors and we can see that. Uh, whoop. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, there we are, you can change your mirrors by using the left stick. So you can see the mirrors changing on, on the bike there. Let's see if I can change the mirrors. So lots of good, cool customization here. Uh, and then uh, even the, the turn signals and the rear plates, you can, you can do that as well. So go to the here. you see that um, you can have a different rear plate. You see the, the rear plate where it says on the back, near the back tire there? XSR, so that's without and that's with, so you can do that too. And uh, what other options we've got? Even the handlebars, look at that. So we can have different handlebars as well. Let's see if we've got some gold ones. Look, there's some gold ones there. Zoom in, you can zoom in and have a good look as well with, the, with my RT button. So you can see the handlebars, look at that. Okay, so basically you can do quite a lot of customization. So um, we won't go into every single detail there. Um, and uh, you've got various categories. So we'll go back to the main screen and uh, see what we else we've got. So, um, I think that actually isn't my garage at the bottom, so I must have bought some bikes before. Uh, so click on wire to go to the showroom, and uh, click on wire for manufacturer, and you've got Honda. Oh, you've just got Honda, have you? <laughs> uh, hmm, I wonder what I've done here. So let's have a look again, bike. Okay, that's just the Honda NSR. I was just hoping I could see a load of bikes from different manufacturers, but uh, okay. Something is not uh, all there at the moment. Um, purchase a bike. Perhaps I've got to go here. Purchase a bike. Okay. Uh, show a complete list. Show by category. Uh, which going to do a complete list. See what that looks like. So you can see all these bikes that you've got available. Look at that one uh, at the bottom of the screen. Um, if you need a DLC, it will tell you there. DLC required. So you can just scroll on the bottom. I believe we have installed some DLCs on here. So I'm not sure which one is part of the DLCs and which ones are part of the default uh, stock. So it looks like maybe that icon, you see that icon in the middle of the screen where they, uh, with the down arrow, that, I think that may indicate the DLC. So yeah, we go that we want to do it on that one. It means that you need to purchase that one. Um, okay, so you see how many bikes is actually available in this ride too. It's, I'm still going, I'm still going. There's hundreds and hundreds of bikes. So I'm not counting by the way, but all the specs are on there as well. You see the handling, the acceleration, all sorts of specs. And um, gives you an idea of obviously um, the characteristics of each bike as well. So loads and loads and loads of bikes. Let's go back. And uh, we've got category as well. So you've got to choose by category. You see the uh, supermoto, the sports bikes, race super bikes, endurance, everything's there. Oh, that's the, what was that? What was that? What was that? 
Ah, no, it's nothing. Okay, so uh, visit manufacturers. So now we visit manufacturers, and there are all the manufacturers in the game. Uh, you can see even Ducati uh, are in there, and uh, of course BMW, uh, Suzuki, uh, Honda, all uh, the uh, famous bike manufacturers. So, okay, uh, that's what you can have in the garage. Uh, you can have shown you customized bike, and click on my collection will actually show you um, your collection. And if I go here, you see that I have uh, one Honda, uh, one Yamaha, and um, one Augusta. Okay, so let's go back again into the main menu. My rider, so this is your actual bike rider, so you can have a look at your riding gear. And uh, you can see, you can choose from different types of gear and you can customize it. So you can go in here and click on X to customize. And, uh, and you've got an option then, of, like the bike, you've got an option to actually change his helmet. So you can put that one in on him, okay? But again, you've got to pay for it, you see? So you can actually try on the helmet as well, if you like, before you buy, yeah, which is good. So you can you can do that. Look at all these helmets available. Just an immense amount of options in this, in this sim. Loads and loads of options. So that's, uh, the helmet and then you can even do the visors you see a different visor a cool looking visor there the gold one and again you can spin them around with the other with the right stick in my case i'm using the, the xbox controller so you can use the right stick uh, and uh, it's uh, gloves uh, so you can choose from different manufacturers let's have a look at these gloves let's see you see you can zoom in as well and zoom out uh, again even the gloves you can buy and change. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, boots. Boots. Um, try the rabbit boots. And you see. Nope, I don't want to buy any. Uh, but let me try these on. I can't see them being. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, just about changing. There you go. So you can see you can change the boots, the shoes, whatever you want to call them, uh, jackets. So you can choose, again, different types of jackets. You see, and um, you can go on and on for that, really. Uh, customize it. Let's have a look at the trousers. That looks good. So, that's your rider as well. You can customize your rider, you can, but not only customize it, you've got subcategories um, shoes, helmets, jackets, even, etc. So, gives you an idea of what's in the My Ride box. Uh, riding style editor. Now, this one allows you to uh, do your um, ride style and your celebrations. So click on celebration. And let's have a look what we got here. So celebration one, there you go. You choose celebration two, three. A bit like in, uh, I think FIFA got this where you can actually change the celebrations as well. So you got quite a few different, you know, again, you can spin the car around and um, see which one you want to use. <laughs> Celebration six. There's one more to have a look at. It's not many, so we'll just finish this off. He's playing the violin. Look at that one. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. And, um, okay, so what's this? Supermoto riding style. So that's a category of uh, racing. Supermoto. And, uh, oh, look at this. Even more options here. So you can even adjust, you can even adjust the, um, his torso elevation. Uh, ele elevation. Uh, how do I get down to trying to oh yeah here you go the yeah, shoulder position torso so there you go you can actually do all this as well uh the way he rides his bike so again attention to detail fine detail and uh, what was the other category we have here the sport riding style so let's have a look at again uh you can have different riding styles you can see you can change p to three and then by pressing x you can customize the individual, uh, the individual um, angles and positions that you want. So you can see he's moving back and forth. Let's see, see, he's moving. So I'm not sure whether this actually affects his knee. Look at his knee. So I'm not sure if this actually affects the um, how you know how fast you can go, etc. I don't know. I am not. Um, I'm not expert enough to be able to tell you that. So, um, but you can do that as well. So let's go back out. The rider badges, and that allows you to um, see what badges you've got, like achievements basically, so you can see here um, what you've achieved. So that's good, so it keeps a track record of that. 
Ride bonus. I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh, uh, extra. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can see it actually tells you you can receive discounts with the Yamaha. You have 10% bonus credits racing with the KTM bike. So you get, get a few things that give you a bit more maybe uh, skill or awesome um, advantage in, in purchasing power. So you see a little extra drag rate. So you can achieve those as well. Or, or you can buy them by the way. Yeah, buy. So you can buy them. Okay. So that's good. Now let's go back now to uh, my team. So we've done my bikes, my rider, and now my team. A bike, a bike and, some and some friends, friends ready, ready to give their all, all on the track. track. This, this is, is all, all you need, need to create, create your, your team. team. Okay, so it looks like you can create a team. So you can change the team name. Milestones is their members as well. Now the members, where do you get these mem members from? Uh, it gives you a set, set of number of members with their skill levels. Okay, uh, and the riders list. Oh, what's that too? oh right, okay. AI riders, you can add your friends as well. Look, so you can make, if you've got friends who play the game, you can add them as well, or you can add the AI riders into your team here by selecting their, from their skill levels, etc. And you can press A to hire them. So if you hire them, I suppose they're going to charge you. Yeah, there you go. You need tokens to hire them. So obviously, the higher skilled players will cost you more. So that's, so that's the team that you can use in the game. Challenges. Okay. Challenges, uh, daily challenges, and weekly challenges. So let's see what these are all about. Uh, quick race, single race, easy, objective fifth, objective third. So um, you can uh, participate in some challenges like you do in other games for the day. Uh, and the objectives are obviously on your screen there and tells you what you need to do to achieve that. So the weekly challenges, I presume, are weekly challenges. And uh, here you go. So you get six tokens and four tokens for the time like on the right there. And next to Almeria, Almeria Grand Prix Circuit, you see the times. And uh, next to the times, you've got stars. And that's what you can gain by getting those particular times. Uh, and you've got leaderboards as well at the bottom there. So the leaderboards. It'll tell you on the leaderboards uh, where your position is. So I must be retrieving this off the internet, I presume. Hello? Yeah, there you go. So you can see the, the challenge of the leaderboard uh, of all the people and the countries and the times. So, okay. Uh, let's go back now to uh, online. It's an online option. We, we will have a look maybe at that later. Options allows you to go in and change your HUD and your gamma correction. So your controls. Uh, as you can see, I'm using Joypad 1. And you can, um, you can customize that as well. Uh, the HUD. Uh, in meters or in miles or like miles um, and uh, your position indicator if you want if you have rewinds if you want to ride his names on the lap times the speed over there all be on the head so you can just adjust those as well gamma correction well if your monitor looks too bright or too too dark you can change the sort of brightness there the audio again in different audio effects menu music audio optimizations you can go down here and select what type of TV if you're using, or if you're using headphones, and the menu music, race music, so you've got race music, the effects, and you can fine tune the audio options how you want it. Now, auto sync uh, enabled to, this option is also enabled in online when you boot the game. So, um, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be syncing then, but there's some automatic synchronization. So, I'll need to uh, probably look into that a bit further. So, I'm not quite sure what that is. Credits and uh, um, obviously credits for who made the game. So, uh, downloadable contents. Okay, so this will allow you to get any DLCs, and there's, uh, you can get a few DLCs for this. And you can see we've got uh, some DLCs already installed here. Uh, and you've got some free bike packs here, look, that, which is available. So I haven't downloaded that yet. Um, that's Ride 2 Free Bikes Pack. Some bikes, top bikes of 2017. So you've got lots and lots and lots of downloads and options in this as you can see there's a pattern here it's, it's a lot of thought has gone into this okay so we're going to look at quick race so click on quick race and uh, choose um change our bike uh, sorry that's the bike i wanted so click on that bike and then change our track we'll go for uh imola okay and uh let's choose this grand prix circuit with the sun Okay, and uh, race options you can see there we've got it on uh, one lap, we we'll just leave it on one so we can try another track afterwards. Uh, AI difficulty, yeah, we we'll leave as everything as it is. So um, let's go into the race. Click on start race, 
And um, by Game Info, if you press X on your pad, if you've got a gamepad, if you've got a keyboard, it'll tell you what press button to press uh, to get your bike info, and it tells you a little bit about the bike as it's loading. So we're ready to proceed. So we'll click on the A button, and uh, we're ready. again. You can see at the bottom there. You can go in and change your bike settings. This allows you to change your suspension if you want to, if you know what you're doing, to help you in the race and the different types of tracks. And if you click on gears, you can change your gear ratio. So. Some experts might want to do that. We're going to leave everything as default. And off we go to start the race. Again, uh, we have participants. It shows you who's in the race and the points that they've got and uh, the bikes that they ride in. And the race options again, you've got the option of changing the race options. So we're ready to start. Click on start race and here we go. Okay, ready to go. Accelerate and we're away. And uh, everyone's um, leaving us behind. Oh, we're picking up a bit of speed now. So here we go. Oh, he just drove into me. Into the first chicane. A bit overshot that a bit. Uh, let's uh, recover a bit now. Let's get back on track. We need spot. We lost a bit of ground. We catch them on these bends. Ah, there's a mistake there, there's a mistake. Keep going. Under the bridge. Well, sort of bridge anyway. And we've got him on the bends. Can we get another place? Can we get past Naku Na was it Nakmura? No, he's uh, fended us off, so we're into seventh spot now and Going up the hill, there's a right hander, then a left hander, I think. Here at Imola. There's a slight little right hander, and then a left hander. And then it goes down the hill, I believe. No, nope, I got that wrong. Not yet. <laughs> oh, I got that completely wrong. Okay, so here we go. Down the hill a little bit here. This is the bend I was thinking about. Oh, we gained a bit of ground there. And he was an amazing mistake and he just just got in front of us again hey Nakamura are you playing fair there so he's pulling away from us our bike seems to be lacking a bit of power on the straight so down to this right hander and then the left hander and we take Nakamura yes we have just taking him right at the end and uh, Romero in front of us from Argentina by the looks of it I don't know if we've got enough power on the straight to get in front of him but we're getting there there's our bike from the side. Shouldn't be messing about at this stage, but there you go. And I don't know if we're going to be able to have enough time to catch these bikes in front of us. After we can get them on the bend. And a good exit there. A good exit. you still got a bit of time. Come on. The metal just pushed, pulled in front of us. But we're done long, nearly alongside him now. And he's cut across us. He's cut across us. Can we outbreak him? I mean, might be able to just do this and sneak a few spaces. Full spot, full spot, third even. Oh, what a race. I think we got a third there. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, fifth? Oh, I was living in Cloud Cuckoo Land. I thought I was third. Okay, so we're going to have a look at another track and then wrap up the video. Uh, shortly afterwards, so we have a look at the um, let's do chain track. Let's have a look at another type of track. See if we've got a city track. So Viking Valley Mountains, we've done mountains, national park. Ah, that looks pretty good. North Wales, a little village. And there's the French Riviera there as well. Ah, let's have a look at the French Riviera. Okay, this is here. No, oh, no, it's more of a country road, isn't it? So Milan. Let's go to Milan. Right, you click on Milan. And uh, we really want a shorter circuit than that. So let's go for a 1.9 mile circuit. And uh, again, we just have one lap. And let's we try the other bike now that the I got. Let's change bike. Let's try this bike. Okay. That looks like a faster bike, actually. So click on start race. And this is Milan. So this is another type of circuit, more of a town circuit. So we've got a race circuit. We had like a mountain circuit, and now we're going to have um, a city circuit, hopefully. So, off we go. Proceed. 
one lap of Milan. And here we go, 3,258 yards, and uh, we're ready to go. So we're just going to start race. This is the next bike we have. Off we go. So we're in Milan, Italy, for the next race that we are have entered in. And uh, we are aiming to try to win our first... Have we won a race? Have they uh, knocked someone over? Have I knocked two people over? <laughs> oh dear. There's the tram lines in Milan. So we're going into fourth spot at the moment. Catch these guys on the straight. Yep, this is much better on the straight than the other uh, bike I had earlier. Already caught them. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he's, he's hurt himself. And uh, dust myself off, get back on my bike, and try again. Oh dear, what well, happened there? I do not know. So we've lost a few places, but never mind. I don't know if this bike is good on the straights, but I'm having difficulty in, in the bends. As I said, I've just overtaken somebody, so that's good. Let's gain some respect. In 11th spot. Made that terrible mistake earlier on. But can I get back in the top 10? A little mistake there, but we're in the top 10 at least. Oh no, we're in the top of the 10 again. Yes, we are. Back into ninth spot. Oh, whoops. <laughs> back into eighth spot. Can we get a respectable finish? In seventh. And not too bad, so we hit 7th spot there. Uh, disappointed that uh, I made that mistake, but uh, what can you do, eh? So, a few race credits to our name. Click on confirm. And, uh, shall we look another little... Oh, we don't want to restart, we want to replay, so let's click on replay. And as you can see that you can upload your time as well. You on? <laughs> Completely wide there. <laughs> All over the shop at the beginning. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Trying to control the bike there. It's wobbling backwards and forwards and left and right. <laughs> oh, you see that his back wheel went up then as well. He's <laughs> still wobbling all over the place. <laughs> and that's the crash, look. There's a the crash. The bike skidded away from him. But uh, we got credit, we got back on and, and started the race, which is great. Okay, so I think we'll uh, end the replay there and uh, click on continue and that's right too quick race option Okay, so that was the quick mode. And lastly, the World Tour event, just have a quick look at those. You see you've got team versus team, which is where the team came in that we looked at earlier on. Championships, let's have a look at the championships. So you've got a various amount of championships in different types of bikes. So you can see street icons, hyper sport, etc, etc. So you can play through that as well. You can, Seasons events, let's have a look at these. So, oh, we'll so, tour season two. So we must have done a season one somewhere. 
So again, you've got different um, types of uh, rankings and, and bikes you can use throughout the season. So you can do that as well. Um, team versus team, team versus team. Um, you can have, oh. You can have, um, you can create your own team and actually take part in some uh, tournaments and championships and then you can work your way up through the team standings. Lead your team to the top of the standings, improve your world ranking position to challenge the best teams in the world. And uh, I think then the world ranking, let's have a look at that. You can see where you are in the world ranking yourself. So, we're not going to, go to do the season because that's going to be uh, very lengthy, of course, so we won't have time to do that. But um, right too, so that is it in a nutshell. And uh, what do we think of it? We think it's fantastic. Why do we think it's fantastic? Well, because the graphics are good, the options are good, the amount of um, d downloadable content is available, uh, you've got challenges, you've got seasons, you can customise your bike, your rider, and um, all different options as well to set up the bike. In fact, it's the complete package. So Ride was good, but Ride 2 is better. And uh, would we recommend it? Yes, we would. So that wraps up our interview. And don't forget, uh, we are on Twitter, we are on Instagram, we are on Facebook, and uh, if you click the subscribe button and like, it would really help us to make more videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out our channel for other videos and other types of simulation. And until then, we'll see you next time.